Hi, my name is Kai Armstrong. I'm the product manager for the editor group uh, here at GitLab, and I wanted to talk today about multi-file snippets. So it's something we've been talking about for quite a few releases in kickoff and about how we were working on it, but um, it is finally here. It is live on GitLab.com um, as of this recording. So uh, I wanted to show it off, do a quick demo, and then um, you can go and play with it and let us know what you think. So I'm going to share my screen. I'm just going to share my whole monitor here. Um, as soon as I find the right one. Oh, we're gonna share this one. Perfect. So uh, I thought this would be a good way to demo this um, in the context of multi-file and what you might be able to do with it. And so what I've loaded up here is I've loaded up a simple index.html file, but it has, um, we'll quickly look at the source. It's got a reference styles sheet and a, a JavaScript file. So um, in this context, right, I might be using this file and I might be trying to help someone else learn JavaScript or do something else and saying, hey, here's an example of like how you can take a button and you can make it do something. And so if you click this button, it hides that, that red text that was there. That's really great. So I could send someone all these files. Um, I don't know how I would do that normally, but maybe I'd zip them up, maybe I'd attach them to email, maybe I'd just paste a whole bunch of flat files to them in Slack. But in this way, I sort of I have all the files here and I can look at them. Uh, and if we come over here and sort of look what this is, this is uh, all of the files here. Um, so we can copy the next file. It's the same file that's, you know, whoops. It is the same file that's here. So you can see that those two are the same thing. Um, and what's great is I've got this locally on my computer and you can tell that it's um, already checked out and it's a master branch. And so this is already a snippet that I have cloned uh, locally so that I could run it here and do this. And now that I have all the files, um, if I come back and look where I've pushed those up, let me just double check those numbers. So all these files uh, exist in this one snippet. And so now if I wanted to share this with someone, I could take sort of this link and I could paste it to someone in Slack. I could send it to someone via an instant message. I could send it post it in an issue or something else and I'd be like, hey, here's a quick demo that you could you could run uh, that would show you how to hide that button. And all they would need to do is come. Um, they can get the clone URL really easily. We'll do another window over here. Maybe if my shell loads. <laughs> um, and we'll do a get clone of that to um, test two. And we'll just go into that and we'll do an ls and we'll see that same index file that's right here. And so it's really easy um, for someone to get started doing that now. They can um, easily get all three of these files that they would need. The files are set up and ready to go. Check them out, open that index file locally and sort of see how that works. And this works for a whole bunch of things. And so I'll stop sharing. This could work for a whole bunch of things. This could work for um, maybe you've got a script that you run in a log file, um, or maybe you've got a script file that you run and you have an, a sample input file. And so you can give someone that script with that sample input file and they can uh, modify that and then run it and so they get the output that they need. Um, this is just a couple of use cases. We're really excited about getting multiple files into snippets. Um, it's live on gitlab.com. So test it out, let us know what you think. Um, we're gonna be keeping close tabs on it over the next couple of weeks. Um, to hopefully get the feature flags completely removed and have it turned on in the 13.5 release for everyone for self-managing GitLab.com. But give it a try. Let us know what you think. Um, and thanks for watching.